What's up, YouTube? Let me have a Louisville 41 with you once again. Let me ask you something, like a fan. Do you really want Chris Paul to be on your Los Angeles Lakers team? A 38 Chris Paul who can't play defense no more, who can't basically stay healthy, because every time he get down to the to the stress in the season, he always get injured time and time again. And plus, every time he goes in the playoffs, he's always getting injured. Now, you add Chris Paul to this team, where you already got 38-year-old LeBron James, you won't have 38-year-old Chris Paul. And you, you, you expecting LeBron James to play off ball while Chris Paul hitting the ball most of the time. And even though LeBron James and Chris Paul got a good relationship, that may change if he's on the Lakers and he's not making LeBron James look good. Yeah, it's gonna be time for things are going great between Chris Paul, LeBron, Anthony Davis, and the Lakers gonna look like a good team. But you know, in the end, I don't think it's gonna work out. Chris Paul, still a, probably a good, a good one of the last of the Mohicans when it comes to that type of punk guard. But that style of punk guard is basically going, going away. Let's face it. Now, since the Lakers, I think the Lakers should go ahead and go young. I know they're not going to um, start a star fire sale, start getting rid of players, and start breaking everything down and start over again because they still going. They still got LeBron for another season. Um, they still got Anthony Davis for for once one more season because my understanding is they're not going to give Anthony Davis that extension like like he wants. Like he wants it. Like the Lakers are looking to basically get probably get rid of Anthony Davis because they're not going to build the team around him. So, plus, who knows if LeBron James is going to be there next year? Because it's a possibility he may be going to Dallas. It's a possibility he may be our fan because he's still trying to get convince Kyrie Irving to come to the Los Angeles Lakers because. But if Kyrie Irving don't go to the Lakers and he stays in Dallas for that $227 million extension he's been looking for, if he get that five-year deal, then LeBron may jump still. So basically, what are you going to be left with? If they do trade for Chris Paul, Chris Paul, Anthony Davis, and who else? So even though they want to make Chris Paul, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James, the best three. Do you really want two aging players at the end of their career with a um Anthony Davis? You don't know what you're gonna get every night. So I really re would rethink that situation um, decision if you go after Chris Paul if I was the Los Angeles Lakers. Other than that, let me know please what you think. You think the best move for the Lakers is to go after Chris Paul or just leave it be. Other than that, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit that subscribe button so you get the notification. Share my channel, share my content to let other people know that I'm posting videos. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.